Hello, my name is Fernando from FixPhone. Today I'm gonna show you a new method to bypass a Google account on the Revel 4 Plus and the Revel 4. Let's get started. So connect your phone to Wi-Fi. As you can see, the phone is locked. I'm gonna go use a Google account. Here we can go next. So we have to go back. Need to click on emergency call emergency information click on the icon on the corner to edit click on the name and click on the circle icon with the blue then click on choose an image click on the dashes on the three dashes on the corner then press and hold on the Google Drive click on permissions click on the search icon here you have to type in chrome click on it then click on open accept and continue no thanks here you have to type in this link Once you've done so, click continue. Gotta download this Apex launcher. Click OK. Then click on the three dots on the corner. Download. We have to install. We have to allow unknown sources. Allow. Go back. Install. So we, if it doesn't show up so we gotta do it again click on the three dots on the corner click on it then install if it gives you that message we have to go back here we have to delete chrome and search for settings scroll down to find settings Then open it. Then here I'm gonna show you this phone is the Revel 4 Plus and it has the latest Android security update, which is May 1st, 2021. Then you gotta go to accessibility, scroll down, you're gonna find accessibility menu, then you click on it, then turn it on, allow, then you see a little guy on the on the bottom of the phone appears. Then go back, go under security, click on app pinning, turn it on allow it's not working so we have to go back then click on apps and notifications see all apps click on android setup force stop go back scroll down until you find google play services Then for stop, disable. Then you have to go back, all the way back to the startup menu. Then restart the phone. If you found this video helpful, please like and subscribe.
Once the phone turn on, click on start. Quickly click on don't copy and go back. Click on the icon on the bottom of the phone. Click on assistant. Settings. Enable Google Play services, then go back. Click on next, don't copy. Go back. Here we should show setup offline, but it's not showing up. So we have to go back, hit start. I'm gonna try it again. Next, don't copy. Go back. Then click on the icon, assistant. Say open settings. Click on apps and notifications. Click on see all apps, Android setup, four stop. Scroll down till you see Google Play services. Click on it, four stop and disable. We're gonna try it again. Then go back. Then restart the phone. Sometimes it takes a couple tries until you can see setup of lines, but usually after the second try it would show it. But if not, just keep doing it until you see setup of line, then we can go from there. Once the phone turned back on, it will continue by itself. Click on don't copy. Here we have to wait a couple seconds until it tries to go to the next page. Then go back. Here on the Wi Fi, you can see on the bottom setup offline. Gotta click on it, continue. If it doesn't go through, go back, click on the icon on the bottom, click on assist, click settings. Enable Google Play services, then go back, click on setup offline, continue, click on more, accept, skip, skip. Next. Now the phone is Google bypassed. What I like to do here, I like to go to the settings, go under system, click advanced, reset options, and do a factory reset on the phone. Once the factory reset is done, you can use the phone perfectly fine.
click start skip set up offline continue next more accept then here if you want to set up a screen lock you can I'm gonna skip skip next finish here you have it thank you for watching